Listen, I need you to stop scrolling right now because what I'm about to show you is going to completely change the drone game as we know it. DJI just leaked not one, but two absolute monster drones that are about to drop, and if you're planning to buy any drone in the next six months, you need to watch this entire video before spending a single dollar. I'm dead serious. Stay with me until the end, because I'm going to tell you exactly which one you should buy, and which one is a complete waste of money for most people. Here's what's happening. DJI is preparing to launch the Neo 2 and the Avatar 3, and these aren't just minor upgrades with slightly better cameras. We're talking about fundamental redesigns that completely redefine what compact drones can actually do. The Neo 2 is coming for everyone who thought beginner drones had to compromise on quality, while the Avatar 3 is targeting FPV enthusiasts who've been begging for professional-grade features in a compact package. Both of these machines are absolute game-changers, and the leaked specs are frankly insane. Now, why should you care about this right now? Because timing is everything in the drone world. If you buy the wrong drone next month, you're going to be kicking yourself when these launch. Plus, and this is the part nobody's talking about, DJI is facing some serious regulatory challenges in the United States that could impact availability and pricing in major ways. I've got insider information on release dates, real-world pricing, and most importantly, which drone is actually worth your hard-earned money based on your specific needs. Here's exactly what we're covering today. First, I'm breaking down everything about the Neo 2, including the camera upgrade that's honestly mind-blowing for this price point. Then we're diving deep into the Avatar 3, and trust me, the leaked footage from Chinese social media is revealing features that sound too good to be true. After that, we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison, so you know exactly which one fits your needs. But here's the thing, there's a crucial detail about availability that I'm saving for the 8-minute mark that could completely change your purchasing decision. So stick around because missing that one detail could cost you hundreds of dollars or months of waiting. All right, let's talk about the DJI Neo 2. And I want to start by saying this is not your typical incremental upgrade. The original Neo was already an impressive piece of technology for beginners, but DJI looked at that foundation and said, what if we made this thing an absolute beast while keeping it stupid simple to fly? The Neo 2 sits strategically in DJI's lineup right below the Mini 5 Pro, which means they're targeting that sweet spot between entry-level and prosumer. What's brilliant about this positioning is that DJI isn't trying to cannibalize their own products. Instead, they're creating a crystal-clear upgrade path. The Neo 2 maintains that ultra-compact form factor that made the original so popular. You can still throw this thing in a backpack without thinking twice, but the internal engineering has been completely reimagined to handle the upgraded components we're about to discuss. Let's talk power, because this is where DJI made some really smart decisions. The battery capacity is jumping from 1,435 milliamp hours in the original Neo to a hefty 1,660 milliamp hours in the Neo 2. Now, I know those numbers might sound boring. But here's what that actually means for you in the real world. You're looking at approximately 20 to 25 minutes of actual flight time, depending on conditions and how aggressively you're flying. Compare that to the original's 18 minutes, and you're gaining potentially 7 extra minutes in the air. That might not sound like much, but when you're trying to nail that perfect shot, those extra minutes are absolutely crucial. And here's the kicker. DJI engineered this drone to handle level 4 wind resistance which means you can fly in conditions that would ground most drones in this class. The sports mode cranks the speed up to 16 meters per second, so you're not stuck with that slow, boring flight experience. This thing moves when you need it to move. Now we need to talk about the camera, because this is where the Neo 2 absolutely destroys its predecessor and honestly competes with drones twice its price. DJI equipped this compact beast with a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, which is a massive upgrade from what we had before. But sensor size is just the beginning. 
this sensor delivers 13.5 stops of dynamic range, which means you're capturing incredible detail in both the shadows and the highlights. For those of you who don't speak camera nerd, that means your footage is going to look professional right out of the drone, even in challenging lighting conditions. You're shooting crisp 4K video at 60 frames per second, which gives you that buttery smooth motion that makes footage look cinematic rather than amateurish. But DJI didn't stop there. They included true HDR recording, 10-bit color depth for serious color grading flexibility, and get this, D-Log M profile support. If you're into post-production, you know that having a log profile gives you insane flexibility to grade your footage exactly how you want it. The stabilization system uses what appears to be rock-steady technology combined with horizon balancing. So, even if you're flying in windy conditions or making aggressive movements, your footage stays silky smooth. The AI capabilities in the NEO 2 are where things get really interesting, and this is where DJI is clearly trying to compete with much more expensive drones. The subject tracking system, which rumors suggest could be ActiveTrack 6.0, uses advanced artificial intelligence to follow subjects with scary accuracy. I've tested earlier versions of ActiveTrack, and if this is indeed version 6.0, you're looking at tracking that can predict movement, navigate around obstacles, and maintain perfect framing even when your subject is moving unpredictably. For content creators who film themselves, this is an absolute game-changer because you essentially have a flying camera operator that never gets tired, never loses focus, and costs $0 per hour. The intelligent flight modes are rumored to include several AI-powered options that make complex shots accessible to complete beginners, which aligns perfectly with DJI's strategy of making professional quality content creation available to everyone. Here's where we need to have a real conversation about pricing and availability, because this is crucial information that's going to impact your buying decision. The NEO 2 is expected to launch somewhere between November 2025 and January 2026, with the most reliable sources pointing to a late November or early December release window. The starting price is rumored to be around $229, which honestly sounds almost too good to be true for what you're getting. However, and this is massively important, if you're in the United States, you need to pay attention to what's happening with DJI and Customs. While the NEO 2 isn't directly impacted by current bans in its weight category, DJI products have been facing detention at U.S. Customs under the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. DJI strongly denies these claims, pointing out that their production facilities are located in Shenzhen and Malaysia. But the reality is that several recent models, including the Mini 5 Pro and Mavic 4 Pro, have experienced significant delays. There are also concerns about potential FCC restrictions that could hit in 2026, which could impact availability or even functionality of certain features. My advice? If you're definitely buying this drone and you're in the US, be prepared for potential delays and consider purchasing as soon as it becomes available rather than waiting for sales or reviews. To everyone. Now let's shift gears and talk about the DJI Avatar 3, because this is where things get absolutely wild. Leaked footage has been circulating on Chinese social media, and what we're seeing is a dramatic departure from the Avatar 2's design language. Remember those chunky orange bumpers that were kind of iconic on the Avatar 2? Gone. Completely eliminated. And I know some of you love that look, but hear me out on why this change is brilliant. By removing the bulky protective bumpers, DJI has created a significantly sleeker, more aerodynamic profile that looks genuinely futuristic. The drone maintains that compact FPV vibe that made the Avatar series so popular, but now it looks like it came from five years in the future. The weight reduction from removing the bumpers also has practical benefits for flight dynamics and battery efficiency. But the most clever design change is how DJI repositioned the battery further back in the chassis. This seemingly minor adjustment dramatically improves the drone's balance and center. The camera situation on the Avatar 3 is, without exaggeration, the most exciting upgrade in this entire announcement. According to highly reliable sources, DJI is equipping the Avatar 3 with a full 1-inch CMOS sensor. Let me repeat that, because it's important. 
a full one inch sensor. This is a massive, massive leap from the Avatar 2's 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. What does this mean in practical terms? You're looking at substantially cleaner image quality, especially in low light situations where smaller sensors typically struggle. The larger sensor captures more light, which means less noise, better dynamic range, and richer color information. But here's where FPV pilots are going to lose their minds. The Avatar 3 is rumored to shoot 4K video at 120 frames per second. That's double the frame rate of the Avatar 2, and it opens up incredible possibilities for buttery smooth slow-motion footage. Imagine flying through tight spaces, capturing aggressive tricks, or following fast-moving subjects, then slowing that footage down to 25% speed while maintaining crystal clear 4K resolution. For FPV content creators, this is the feature you've been waiting for, and honestly, it puts the Avatar 3 in competition with dedicated cinema drones that cost thousands more. Flight performance is where the Avatar series has always excelled, and the Avatar 3 appears to be pushing those boundaries even further. The Avatar 2 offered a respectable 23 minutes of flight time, which was already impressive for an FPV drone in this class. But advancements in battery technology and more efficient motor systems could push the Avatar 3 closer to that magical 30-minute mark. Now, I want to be realistic here. Flight time claims always vary based on how you're flying, environmental conditions, and what features you're using. Aggressive FPV flying with full camera recording will always drain the battery faster than gentle cruising. But even if we get 25 to 27 minutes of real-world flight time, that's a significant improvement that extends your creative possibilities. The upgraded propulsion system is rumored to include more powerful motors with optimized aerodynamics, which means faster top speeds and more responsive handling. For freestyle pilots who prioritize agility and responsiveness, these improvements could make the Avatar 3 the most fun-to-fly drone in DJI's entire lineup. Let's talk about the professional features that separate the Avatar 3 from consumer drones, because this is where DJI is really flexing their engineering capabilities. The stabilization system on the Avatar 2 was already excellent, with Rocksteady and Horizon Steady delivering impressively smooth footage for an FPV drone. But the Avatar 3 is expected to take stabilization to another level entirely with enhanced electronic image stabilization. And here's the really exciting rumor, possibly a mechanical gimbal. If DJI actually includes a mechanical gimbal on an FPV drone at this price point, that would be absolutely revolutionary. Mechanical gimbals provide stabilization that electronic systems simply cannot match, especially during high-speed maneuvers or sudden direction changes. The obstacle avoidance system is getting a major upgrade as well, with rumors pointing to omnidirectional sensors that provide 360-degree detection. This is crucial because the Avatar 2's limited detection system was honestly one of its weakest points. True omnidirectional sensing would dramatically reduce collision risks and make the drone much more accessible to pilots who are still building their skills. Timing is everything with these releases, so let's talk about when you can actually get your hands on the Avatar 3. Based on DJI's historical release patterns and information from reliable leakers like Jasper Ellens, who accurately predicted previous launches like the Air 3S and the Goggles N3, we can make some educated predictions. The original Avatar dropped in September 2022, and the Avatar 2 followed in April 2024, which was a 19-month gap between releases. If DJI maintains a similar timeline, the Avatar 3 could arrive anywhere between October 2025 and March 2026. However, the most likely launch window appears to be between November 2025 and January 2026, which would coincide nicely with the Neo 2 release and create a big splash during the holiday shopping season. DJI loves doing major announcements that generate buzz when people are actually ready to spend money, so a late 2025 release makes strategic sense. Now let's put these two drones head to head and talk about how they actually compare, because this is where you're going to figure out which one deserves your money. The Neo 2 and Avatar 3 are fundamentally different drones designed for different users and use cases, so this isn't really an apples to apples comparison. The Neo 2 is all about accessibility and ease of use, designed for beginners. 
casual users and content creators who want professional results without a steep learning curve. It's compact, it's affordable at that $229 starting price point, and it's packed with AI features that do the heavy lifting for you. The Avatar 3, on the other hand, is targeting experienced pilots and serious content creators who want FPV capabilities with professional-grade image quality. It's going to cost significantly more, probably starting around $800 to $1,000 for the drone alone, and it's designed for users who want manual control and the ability to capture dynamic, aggressive footage that standard drones simply cannot achieve. So who should buy which drone? Let's break this down clearly so you can make a confident decision. Buy the Neo 2 if you're new to drones, if portability is a top priority, if you want something that's simple to fly right out of the box, or if you're a content creator who needs reliable aerial footage without fuss. The Neo 2 is also perfect for travelers who want a drone they can throw in a backpack without worrying about weight restrictions or complicated setups. Buy the Avatar 3 if you're already comfortable flying drones, if you want FPV capabilities for dynamic, cinematic shots, if low-light performance is crucial for your work, or if you're willing to invest more money for professional-grade features. The Avatar 3 is the choice for serious creators who need that next-level image quality and the creative freedom that FPV flying provides. Don't buy the Neo 2 if you already own capable drones and need specific professional features. Don't buy the Avatar 3 if you're a complete beginner, because the learning curve is real. Taking a step back, it's fascinating to see what DJI is doing with their product strategy for 2025 and 2026. They're not just releasing drones randomly, they're carefully filling every possible niche in the market. The Neo 2 addresses the beginner and casual user segment. The Avatar 3 dominates the FPV enthusiast space. The Mini 5 Pro handles the prosumer market. The Mavic series covers professionals who need reliability and advanced features. And let's not forget the rumored DJI Flip and other products in the pipeline. What DJI is building is a comprehensive ecosystem where there's a perfect drone for literally every type of user, from complete beginners to Hollywood cinematographers. This strategy ensures that once someone enters the DJI ecosystem, there's always an upgrade path that makes sense for their evolving needs. It's brilliant business strategy, and honestly, great news for consumers because competition and innovation drive better products at better prices. Here's my final verdict after analyzing all the leaked information, specs, and strategic positioning. Both the Neo 2 and Avatar 3 represent significant leaps forward in their respective categories. The Neo 2 is going to be the best beginner drone on the market, period. The combination of AI features, improved camera quality, and that aggressive $229 price point makes it almost impossible to compete with. For most people watching this video, the Neo 2 is probably the right choice because it delivers professional-looking results without requiring you to develop serious piloting skills. The Avatar 3, meanwhile, is positioning itself as the ultimate FPV drone for creators who demand the absolute best image quality and performance. That full 1-inch sensor and 4K at 120 frames per second puts it in a category where it's honestly competing with much more expensive, dedicated cinema drones. Personally, I'm buying the Avatar 3, and here's why. My channel focuses on dynamic action footage and cinematic content where FPV capabilities give me creative options that traditional drones simply cannot match. That camera upgrade alone justifies the investment for the type of content I create. However, if I were advising my parents or friends who are just getting into drones, I would absolutely recommend the Neo 2 without hesitation. It's the smarter purchase for 95% of people. If this video helped you make a decision about which drone to buy, do me a huge favor and smash that like button right now. Subscribe to the channel because I'll be covering the actual launch of these drones with hands-on reviews, real-world tests, and comparison footage. Drop a comment below and tell me which drone you're planning to buy and why. I read every single comment and I'll respond to your questions. And if you want to see more detailed comparisons, click that video right there where I break down every DJI drone currently on the market. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.